Peppa Pig Kanalboot. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are visiting the dog family to celebrate Captain Dog's birthday. Hooray! His cake has a sailing boat decoration on it. <laughs> Open your present, says Mummy Dog. <laughs> it's a boat trip, <laughs> says Captain Dog. That's just what I wanted. <laughs> Captain Dog puts on his captain's hat and daydreams about their trip. <laughs> you can go anywhere you want with a sailing boat, says Captain Dog. <laughs> he imagines sailing to a beautiful tropical island. <laughs> then Captain Dog imagines spotting a big blue whale from his sailing boat. He can't wait for the adventure to begin. Wow. All aboard! <coughs> cries Captain Dog. He tries to raise the sail, but he can't see it anywhere. <coughs> Canal boats do not have sails. <coughs> Just push the button to make it start, says Mummy Dog. <coughs> oh, I see. Off we go, <coughs> says Captain Dog. Captain Dog decides to go faster. You should slow down, says Mummy Dog. They are getting close to a mountain. Look out, shouts Peppa. We're going to crash. No, we're going into the tunnel, says Mummy Dog calmly. It is exciting inside the tunnel. It's gone all dark, gasped Danny. <coughs> and our voices sound funny, <coughs> says Peppa. This canal boat is fun after all, <coughs> says Captain Dog. <coughs> Soon they approach a second mountain. <coughs> there must be another tunnel, <coughs> says Captain Dog. <coughs> Actually, we're going over it this time, says Mummy Dog. <coughs> we call this a lock. Carefully, Captain Dog stops the boat. Watch, I'll show you, says Mummy Dog. She opens up the gates to the lock. And Captain Dog drives the boat in. Then Mummy Dog closes the lock gates and lets the water pour in slowly from the other side. We're going up! gasped Peppa. The boat is lifted up as the lock fills with water. Hooray! Mummy Dog opens the gates and Captain Dog drives the boat out of the lock. We're in the sky, <coughs> shouts Peppa. <coughs> We're sailing over a bridge, <coughs> says Danny. Wow. I've sailed through the mountains and across the sky, <coughs> says Captain Dog. This is my best birthday ever. The end. Peppa Pig, Peppa and her Golden Boots. It was the day of the big puddle jumping competition. Peppa and her friends were practicing jumping up and down in muddy puddles. My daddy always wins, boasted Peppa. He said the first rule of puddle jumping is to wear your boots and mine are very special because they are made of gold. They are not gold, replied Susie Sheep. <coughs> they're yellow. They are not yellow, they're real plastic gold, protested Peppa. Would anyone like some orange juice? called Mummy Pig from the house. <coughs> yes, please, replied everyone. <coughs> they ran inside, leaving their boots outside the front door. When Peppa and her friends had finished their juice, they headed outside to put on their boots. Oh no, my boots have gone, sobbed Peppa. <coughs> Mr. Zebra arrived with the post. I've just seen a duck with boots on, he said. Peppa sniffed. 
Were they gold? No, yellow, he replied. His duck came running down the hill wearing Peppa's golden boots. <laughs> Peppa ran after her. Mrs. Duck, can I please have my boots back, please? But Mrs. Duck did not want to give Peppa's boots back. She didn't stop running until she reached Captain Dog's boat. No one could stop Mrs. Duck. She leapt into the water and swam away. Captain Dog started his engine. I think my boat can go faster than that duck, he exclaimed. But Captain Dog's boat could not keep up with Mrs. Duck. Hmm, that's a fast duck, he said. Mrs. Duck finally stopped at a little island where Grumpy Rabbit had been shipwrecked when his boat capsized. Mrs. Duck has my boots and she won't give them back, Peppa called. Don't worry, Peppa, replied Grumpy Rabbit. Mrs. Duck has nowhere to go. But then Mrs. Duck started flying and she was still wearing the boots. Oh no, cried Peppa. Mrs. Duck is flying to the moon with my boot. Don't worry, Peppa, said Grumpy Rabbit, pointing to the neighbouring island. We'll take my rocket. Uh, I really don't think Peppa's boots will be on the moon, said Mummy Pig. Nonsense, insisted Grumpy Rabbit, helping everyone into the rocket. Five, four, three, two, one... Blast off! <laughs> On the moon, Peppa and her friends searched everywhere for Mrs. Duck and the golden boots. Let's ask at the shop, suggested Susie Sheep. <laughs> you don't get shops on the moon, exclaimed Daddy Pig. <laughs> Both guards! called Mrs. Rabbit from inside her gift shop. Ice cream, buckets and spades. Meanwhile, Grandpa Pig had spotted Mrs. Duck in his garden. <laughs> Those aren't your boots, are they? He asked. He quickly dialed Daddy Pig's number. <laughs> oh, hello, Grandpa Pig, said Daddy Pig. Yes, Peppa has lost some boots. We'll be right there. Next stop, Grandpa Pig's garden, announced Grumpy Pig. Peppa bounced excitedly out of the rocket. My boots, my golden boots, she exclaimed. Thank you, Grandpa. Grandpa Pig helped Peppa to put her boots on. Now we can go to the puddle jumping competition, said Mammy Pig. Oh, yes, agreed Daddy Pig. We'd better hurry. The big puddle jumping competition was about to begin. First up, Daddy Pig, cried Mr. Potato. Daddy Pig took a giant leap and made a very big splash. Then it was Mr. Elephant's turn and Mr. Elephant made an even bigger splash. Mr. Elephant is the winner, announced Mr. Potato. Peppa cleared her throat. Please, can I have a go too? She asked. Oh, of course, replied Mr. Potato. And can all of my friends help? Peppa added. Mr. Elephant was not pleased. Mm, hang on, I don't think that's really it. Sounds perfectly fair to me, interrupted Daddy Pig. Peppa and her friends formed a circle and held hands. Five! Four, three, two, one, they all chanted. Jump! Wee! <laughs> Peppa and her friends made the biggest splash ever. Peppa and her friends are the winners, declared Mr. Potato. Well, I still think, began Mr. Elephant. Hooray! Everyone cheered loudly. Peppa loved her golden boots. Everyone loved their boots. And everyone loved the big puddle jumping competition. <laughs> the end. Peppa Pig. 
Daddy Pig's office. Today, as a special treat, Peppa and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. Daddy, what do you do at your office all day? asked Peppa. Lots of fun things, replies Daddy Pig. We're here, he tells the children as they arrive at a very tall building. Hello, says Daddy Pig into the intercom. Hello, Daddy Pig, says a voice. Can I press the button? Peppa asks. <laughs> of course, Peppa, Daddy replies. My office is at the top. We have to go up in the lift, Daddy Pig tells the children. Can I press the button? Asks Peppa excitedly. I think it's George's turn. Press the top button, please, George, says Daddy Pig. The lift takes him to the top floor. Hello, everyone, grants Daddy Pig. Hello, say Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Cat. They work with Daddy Pig. I have two very special visitors with me today, Peppa and George, says Daddy Pig. Let's begin a tour suggests Daddy Pig. Mr. Rabbit, can we start at your desk? We certainly can, replies Mr. Rabbit. My job is all about numbers. I take important pieces of paper and stamp them with a rubber stamp, Mr. Rabbit tells him. Oh. Wow, gasps the children. Peppa likes stamping paper. <laughs> <laughs> On with the tour. Next is Mrs. Cat's desk, exclaims Daddy Pig. Hello, Peppa and George. Matt, says Mrs. Cat. Meow. My job is all about drawing shapes on a computer. Can I try? asks Peppa. I think it's George's turn, says Daddy Pig. Yes, it's your turn to work, George, says Peppa. Agrees George. Mrs. Cat helps George to make lots of blue triangles. Now we print the triangles out, Peppa cries. The printer spits out sheets of paper everywhere. <laughs> George and Peppa think it's hilarious. Do you want to see my desk, Daddy Pig asks. Yes, please, says Peppa. Daddy Pig's job is very important. Do you use stamps or a computer? asks Peppa. No, replies Daddy Pig. I use coloured pens. Peppa and George love colouring pens. George is drawing a dinosaur. <laughs> George always draws dinosaurs, says Peppa, bored. Dinosaur! <laughs> says George. <laughs> ding, ding! The office clock has just chimed. My goodness, five o'clock already, says Daddy Pig. It is time for Peppa, George and Daddy to go home. You've been doing my job very well, snorts Daddy Pig. I like doing Mr Rabbit's job and I like doing Mrs Cat's job, but I like doing your job the best, Daddy, says Peppa. Peppa and George have had an excellent day at Daddy Pig's office. The End Peppa Pig First Look and Find Good morning, this is Peppa Pig's room. And George's too. It's a little bit messy. Will you help Peppa find these toys and tidy up? Peppa loves going to playgroup. Today is Arts and Crafts Day. While Peppa paints, find and point to these classroom objects. Hop, hop. Peppa plays hopscotch with her friends and then twirls a hoop while she waits for her turn. See if you can spot 
these other things to play with. <laughs> Playing makes Peppa extra hungry. I'm into the kitchen and get ready for dinner, finding these yummy things to eat and drink. Hmm. Peppa and her friends are practicing a play. Wow. While they try on different costumes, look for these fun props and decorations. Daddy Pig is a bit of an expert at storytelling. <laughs> look around as he reads to Peppa and George and try to find these family photos. Peppa Pig loves muddy puddles. Remember, if you're jumping up and down in muddy puddles, you must wear your boots. Boots are useful too when it's chilly. Will you help Peppa and her friends find these? The end. Peppa Pig and the Vegetable Garden Peppa Pig and her little brother George are playing at Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig's house. They love to help Grandpa Pig in the garden. What are you doing, Grandpa Pig? asked Peppa. I'm planting seeds. What happens to the seed? They grow into plants. I make a small hole in the ground, put the seed inside and cover it with earth. Then I water it. Everything in my garden grows from seeds like this. Wow. Ouch, says Grandpa Pig. An apple fell on his head. Peppa and George laugh. Grandpa laughs too. Look, he says, inside the apple are more seeds. <coughs> to grow more apple trees, says Peppa. I want to plant a seed, Peppa says. She makes a little hole and puts a seed in it. Then she covers the seed with earth. Grandpa lets her water it. Now we wait for it to grow, he says. Peppa waits. George waits. They wait and wait and wait. It's not doing anything, says Peppa. Grandpa Pig laughs. You have to be patient. Ah, what's this, says Peppa. It's a monster. Monster, <laughs> says George. Grandpa Pig laughs. <laughs> it's just a little snail. <laughs> says George. Monster. He likes a snail. <laughs> Let's play snails, says Peppa. <laughs> Grandpa Pig finds some baskets for Peppa and George and they play snails in the garden. Look says Peppa. A butterfly. Why do butterflies love flowers? They drink from flowers, says Grandpa Pig. Wow. They drink the flower's nectar. It's their food. Hmm. Look at me. I'm playing butterfly, Peppa shouts. George wants to be a butterfly too. No, George, I am a butterfly. You can play worm. George doesn't want to play worm. Come on, George, says Grandpa Pig. Playing worm is fun. Grandpa Pig shows George how to lie on the ground and wiggle. Soon Peppa wants to play worm too. 
Grandpa plants some more seeds. He drops them on the ground. But when he turns around, a little bird is eating them. Shoo! Shoo! says Grandpa. Granny Pig comes to see. We need a scarecrow, she says. Grandpa Pig brings Peppa and George to his garden shed. We'll find lots of things in here to make a scarecrow with, he says. He finds sticks, string, some straw and an old sack. They build the scarecrow, then dress it in some old clothes. Peppa and George paint a face. The birds see the scarecrow. They stop eating Grandpa's seeds. The birds look sad, says Peppa. <sighs> they must be hungry. <coughs> Granny Pig brings out a bird feeder. Lunch time, birds, <coughs> she calls. <coughs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have come. Granny Pig needs blackberries to make a pie for lunch. Everybody wants to help. This blackberry bush has been here since I was a little girl, says Mummy Pig. Oh. Mummy Pig climbs a ladder to get to the berries at the top. Oh no! Mummy Pig falls into the bush. Where is she? <whistles> Mummy Pig is okay, but she looks like a berry bush. <laughs> Peppa and George pick berries from the Mummy Bush. Grandpa Pig, Peppa and George finish picking vegetables for lunch. Hooray! They make a salad. <coughs> Granny Pig cuts up a cucumber. I love cucumbers, says Peppa. <coughs> Yuck, says George. <coughs> he doesn't like salad. <coughs> Grandpa has an idea. He gives George a new plate. <coughs> Dinosaur says George. <laughs> he eats a salad. He likes it. <laughs> he loves Granny Pig's blackberry pie too. Yum! Mm. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Peppa Pig Peppa's school day. <coughs> Peppa is going to school today. All of her friends are there. <coughs> today we have a new student, says Madame Gazelle. This is Emily Elephant. <coughs> Emily is shy. She does not know what to say. <sighs> Everyone is excited to meet Emily. Can I show Emily how we do show and tell? asks Peppa. Of course, says Madame Gazelle. Peppa tells the class about her teddy bear. Wow. Next, it's free time. Yeah. What would you like to do today? Peppa asks Emily. <coughs> there is painting, clay or building blocks. <laughs> Emily chooses building blocks. Peppa shows Emily how to stack the blocks. Oh. You put one on top of another, says Peppa. <coughs> like this? asks Emily. Wow. wow, say the children. Emily Elephant is good at stacking blocks. Hooray! Next, it's playtime. Come on, Emily, shouts Peppa. <coughs> at playtime we go outside, says Candy Cat. Yeah. All the children run outside. First, they go down the slide. Whee! Then they play a game. Who is the loudest? asks Peppa. They all make loud sounds. What a lot of noise! <laughs> Emily, you try, says Peppa. Emily makes a noise like a trumpet. She is the loudest of all. <laughs> Can you spin the hula hoop? Susie Sheep asks Emily. Oh. Emily can spin the hula hoop. She is good at lots of things. Wow. 
but there is still one game left to play. My favourite game is jumping in muddy puddles, says Peppa. That is my favourite game too, shouts Emily. Peppa and Emily are so happy they are friends. What a nice day at school. The end. Hi kids, did you have fun watching this video? Then like and subscribe for more.